not taking Sonia, it again. Please. I am done. Like, please. I, I am done. Sonia, can, I you, am done. can you just listen? I want you to give me the last chance. I promise. I will make it up to you. Please. Fred. What do you want? What do men want, Fred? You have the guts, the audacity to have an affair with another woman. Fred, what do you want? Am I not beautiful enough? Am I not giving birth to two lovely kids for you? What else do you want, Fred? Okay, I am leaving so that you can have all the time for yourself to have all the affair you want. But for me, I am done. Like I've gotten it, I am done. So you please, for the sake of our lovely children, Please, Sonia. And enough. Stop it! Come here! What are you doing here? Huh? Do you have a death wish or what? What are you doing here? Sonia, can you just listen to me? I've literally tried every means to reach out to you. Phone calls, text messages. You're not returning any. I beg you in the name of God, please. Please, can you just come back home? Let's put this together. We can do it. We're not the first. And I promise you, we cannot be the last. Please. It's too late, mister. I have moved on. So I expect you to do the same for yourself. Yes. I expect you to move on. Go and enjoy yourself. Just go and continue your enjoyment with your side chick. I'm out of it. Till you come again. Till you come again. Sonia, please. Please, I'm sorry. Okay, can you just allow me to see the kids? You, you deprived me of the right to see them. Oh no, you will never, never set your eyes on those kids again. Why are you doing this? You will never. And for the last time, don't you ever come disturbing my peace again. Don't you ever, before you say I, I am a bad person, don't come here again. Come and have your fun. Oh, Go and so. enjoy your life. I'm done. So, please, please, can you just listen to me? Give me the last chance, please. Babes, are you out of your mind? You left your husband's house with the kids and refused to go back after several plea. Even your mom tried to intervene, but you shut her up. And you are here telling me you are considering the proposal of dating a married man. You're so unbelievable. Babe, I may have overreacted, but personally, I'm not going back there. I am not going back there. It's just that I am finding it difficult to cater for myself. And I can't keep bugging everyone around me for financial assistance. 
So I have to step up to make sure I take responsibility. <laughs> you should have thought of who would take care of you and your kids when you were jumping off the first bamboos. Just because you heard him on the phone talking to some side chick you never got to see. Sonia, I get that Fred might have screwed up. But this guy never stopped loving you. He literally takes care of all your needs. What more could you ask for? But he cheated on me. Fred cheated on me. I understand, baby girl. I really do. But you need to understand that that's the narrative of most married men now. You should be focused on building your home, making your home stronger. Okay. If you eventually date this married man, what makes you different from Fred? Uh -uh. Don't go there. Please, don't go there. I have made up my mind that I am not going back to Fred and that is fine now. There's nothing anybody can do about it. Seriously, nothing anybody can do about it. Someone needs to foot the bills and that has to be me. Mm. Yes. I've given you my own advice as your friend. I owe you nothing but the truth. I'm nothing short of that. I've done my own part. Anyway, thanks. I don't even need your thanks. Fred, I, I, I don't seem to understand you sometimes. Basically, I'm disappointed in you. Look, sometimes you just you act like you're you are schizophrenic or something. Eh? You want to die of depression simply because a woman left you. See, you wouldn't be the first, neither would you be the last to be left abandoned by your wife. Who is she? Eh? Who does that? You no longer go to work. Your car is just there in the, with the panel beater. Eh? Last week, I was the one that bailed you uh, from federal safety officers because you bashed an innocent woman's car. Eh? A drug is your wife, your wife left you. My guy, calm down, babe. Ah, you, can't cut, you can't keep up like this. What's wrong with you? Stan. You disappoint me, I beg. Ah. Stan, it's not that easy. I love my wife. I love my kids. Do you know why it hurts me so bad? Do you know why? It's not my thing in keeping extramarital affiliates. It's not my way. It's not my game. But you know the funny, the craziest thing about this is this was my first time and I was caught. Can you just see everywhere is quiet? It's so boring. Uh, uh, I know, everywhere is quiet and boring. That is the more reason why you should you should you should take the bull by his own. Go and get your kids. Huh? Or I love my wife. I love what's what see, it's over six months since he left you. And you told me yourself she doesn't pick your course. Neither does she reply your messages. Oh, you guam. Well, I don't know what you told me. Eh? And you're here preaching love, love, advocate. Advocate for love, and they love. And I'm here to the mundo here. Eh? For the six months, or got six months. Ah, ah. See, if I were in your shoes, by now I'll just go to, uh, at least involve the police and get your kids, or you go to child welfare. Eh? Who does that? When I could out, okay, me jiwa as I can walk a You are disappointing me. Ah. Stan. I can't do such a thing. Do you know it? I can't. I can't even even. I can't. How? Why should I call the police for my wife and the mother of my ch kids? It's not possible. I get them before no proper. Do, listen, doing such thing now with like full of crisis, more crisis. Do you understand? I cannot do such a thing. Not possible. I, I, you you will not understand because you're not married yet. You will not understand. Hey, don't be you know. I'm telling the truth. That is not the point now. Uh, I'm not in your shoes. I'm not married. Uh, the point is, what, what next do we do now? Eh? What's the next line of action? Eh? Okay, well, you are rubbing depression on yourself because of a woman. Are you the first to get married and, and, be, and be left by your wife? Nah. Eh. My darling. <laughs> My sugar for her. <laughs> Me, ah. Uh. My cranberry. Mm. <laughs> My tomato jaws. Aww, I'm so <laughs> flattered. 
<laughs> my God. Well, I want to say thanks for accepting my proposal. Mm. I really had a great time with you. <laughs> Same here. Well, uh, we have to start rushing home now. Okay. I don't want my wife to start suspecting me. But then last night, she almost caught me on the call. So please, I want you to reduce the way you call at night, okay? All right, I'll try. All right, then. Please, um, <clears throat> I, want, I want to ask you for a favor. Okay. What is it? So it's now do. <laughs> I now count on you. All right. Please, um, I don't know. I need... 350,000 naira to pay for my new apartments. I mean, I'm tired of staying with my friend. So that in that way, we can have our privacy mm. instead of paying for hotel every now and then. Mm. What do you think? Mm. That's a smart idea. Yeah, I think it would be nice. You're <laughs> such a smart girl. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. All right, this is it. Huh? Okay. Mm. Okay, I will look into it and I'll see what I'll do by the weekend. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Mm, I know I could count on you. <laughs> Anytime, baby girl. Okay. Oh. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome, baby I girl. I should be on my way. All right. At least take good care of yourself. All right, I'm going to miss you, baby girl. Oh, you're going to talk all good. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Come, on. Come on, put it here again. Bring it here again. Bring it here again. Bring it here again. <laughs> <laughs> all right, baby. <laughs> That's our rule, man. Yes, what is it? Baby, I've not heard from you again concerning the money for my new apartment. Is that why you called me? I thought I have cautioned you to mind the way you call me. What's your problem? Baby, but you just said I should mind the way I call you at night now. Even at that now, eh? Is that why you want to frustrate me with phone calls? You're calling me like I stole your kidney. Can't you use your common sense? Uh-uh, baby, why are you talking to me like this now, eh? It's me, Sonia. Your baby, oh. It's me, oh. All right, we'll talk about this later, okay? Just mind when you call me. <clears throat> Hello, baby. Hello? Hello? Ah, she just hung call on me. What did I say wrong? What kind of thing is this one? <gasps> when it comes to money, men will just be behaving funny. Oh, baby. Yeah. Thank you so much for honoring my invitation. Okay. I love you so much. I missed you. Yeah, I love you too. And how are the kids doing? They are fine. I had to send them to my mother in the village so they could stay with her. Okay. All right. What will happen is this. I'm going to make some transfers to you, okay? And uh, you're going to take good care of yourself and ah! uh, the kids. Oh, baby, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Tell them I miss them so much. Of course, I'll do that. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I got it. Thank you so yeah, much. Okay, man. Oh, baby, I I know I overreacted some time ago. Okay. I just want to say I'm sorry. I can dispute the fact that you are always on my mind. And I also, you know, I miss those good old days. Okay. You know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's, it's okay. Oh, excuse me. Let me take this call. Hello, Oni. Oh, so sorry. I'm far away from home. But I will be with you in the next 10 minutes, I promise, okay? Yeah. I love you too. Alright, bye. <laughs> that was your new wife, I guess. Yes. She's actually uh, calling me home because uh, she prepared a lunch and she doesn't want it to get cold. So I need to meet up with time. <laughs> 
to eat. Oh my god. What a life. What? Where is this life? I, 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 I left my husband because of a side chick. And now I am a side chick to a lovely husband. What? What? That's an irony of life. You know what? I'm wasted together with talk. I promise. You, you're gonna get somebody that will take care of you, take care of you, okay? You don't have to worry. It's just a matter of time, okay? It's okay. I'm still here for you in case you need anything, just let me know. How are you doing? Oh, honey, I'm fine. Is Honey, you haven't been picking my calls. My friend, my friend, I feel you are mad, you're possessed, or there's something wrong with you upstairs. How can you be calling me consistently when I'm not even picking up your calls? By the way, are you the first lady for me to date outside wedlock? Why is your case different? Honey. Why are you talking to me in such a harsh tone? It's not fair. Don't you dare call me that name. That is what you call me whenever you need financial assistance. Just, just, just give me time. Give me time to gather the money, okay? And listen to me. I have a family too to cater for. And that you cannot compromise. Ennis, why are you saying all this to me? Eh? Why did I wrong you? You have wronged me by always calling my line, forgetting that I am a married man. Now, for your information, don't you ever call this line again. I tell you, don't call this line again. Hello? Hello? Ines, just insulted me what did i do at home the call on me this is not fair what did i do what did i do what kind of rubbish is this one now what did i even get myself into why is my own case different? Is it wrong for me to even follow you in the first place? Hello, what is this, this time again so near? Honey, I want to know why you have not been picking my calls. Hey, 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 hey. Do I need to remind you that we're separated? Why don't you just keep talking about your text messages and calls? I'm, I'm tired. What is all this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you're seeing it that way. It's just that I missed you and I, I just want you here. You miss who? Hey, let me say this. I'll let it stick into your head. I don't like the way you disturb me with your calls and messages. It's you really disturbing my peace. And right now, I don't want anything to come between I and Anita. This is a timely warning. And seriously, I'm gonna block you. I'm gonna block you. I thought I heard you scolding someone. Oh, no, no, no. It's just one of those people calling for assistance. No, there's no problem. There's Are you no... sure? Sure, sure. Really? Yes. Hey, come on. This dress looks good on you. Oh, really, baby? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you always compliment me. Yes. Um, honey, see, don't mind them. Just let them be. They know what you're talking about. 
Okay. Mm. So what do you have for me? Um, I prepare something nice. In fact, lunch is ready. Let's go. Right. Oh, come on. <laughs> Sonia, why wouldn't you go back to your husband? Have you considered how detrimental this could be to the upbringing of your children? You want them to be product of a broken home? Mama, why are you sounding like I'm the one being illogical here? I loved and respected my husband until he chose to to cheat on me with other girls. I see. You disappoint me sometimes. For goodness sake, this young man has been coming to our house for over four months asking for forgiveness. Does it mean you have heart of stone? Mama, you should be saying this to Fred. I was good and a faithful wife to him. How did he repay me? Hey, Mama, how did my own husband repay me by cheating on me with other girls? Mama, I am filing for a divorce and there is nothing anybody can do about it. My decision is final. I wonder what is wrong with young women of these days. So now this is not the way I raised you. Probably maybe you have been brainwashed from all the things you've been seeing on social media. If I tell you how many times I caught your late father cheating on me, you wouldn't have even addressed him as your father. I want you to stick to your husband and make peace with him. My daughter, there is no perfect marriage anywhere in this whole universe. It's all an illusion. An illusion, Sonia. Mama, thank you so much. I've had enough of all this conversation. But I am not going back to the hands of that he goat. And nobody is taking me there. I'm done. My daughter, I want you to calm down. Calm down. All I want you to understand is that it rains everywhere. Even the wise men learn their mistakes from others. No this and no peace. Do not leave your peaceful abode because of pride and anger. Fred cheated on you. Fine. But he still loves you and your children without reservation. I hope you know what you are doing before you make a great mistake. Don't say I didn't warn you. I can't believe I got myself into this mess. Mama warned me, but I wouldn't listen. I left my husband afraid because he was keeping a side chick. And here I am. Here I am being a side chick to a married man, including the one I left about a year ago. At least, when I was with Fred as his wife, he gave me everything. He gave me the attention I desire. But now, I can't even call Fred or Ennis at any chosen time. I am now playing second fiddle. What a shame. I am so ashamed of myself. <gasps> what a life. <sighs> Babe. You don't have to keep doing this to yourself every now and then. You have to be strong. And try to get over this. You'll be fine. Fewers. 
This piece you just watched is a portrait of what is happening in most marriages at home today. We have to try to understand that marriage is a journey of commitment, prayer, tolerance, understanding and forbearance. The idea of having a completely perfect marriage, it might just be an illusion. So we must work tirelessly around the clock to make sure our marriages work. This clip is not in any way upholding infidelity, but rather to prepare our mind on proactive measures that must be wisely taken to build our homes, maintain and protect it, so as to end the rising case of diverse and broken homes we have today. God bless our union. Thank you.